What's up guys, in this video I will guide you on how to connect your laptop or PC to Hisense TV wirelessly. So basically, I will be showing you how to screen mirror your laptop to your Hisense TV wirelessly or even use your Hisense TV as a second display for your laptop or your PC. And the process is quite simple. First things first, you want to come over to your Hisense TV. Over here, I am using a Hisense Vida Smart TV, but it doesn't matter the type of Hisense TV you're using, whether it's the Hisense Android or the Hisense Google TV. Following the same process is going to work out pretty well for you. Now, on your Hisense TV, you want to, first of all, make sure that you're actually connected to your Wi-Fi. So go over to the settings of your Hisense TV over here, open up the settings, and then you want to go over to your connectivity settings, go over to network, and then under network configuration, Proceed to connect your Hisense TV to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. Once that is done, you want to go back to the home of your Hisense TV. Go over to the input source at the left-hand side of your Hisense TV over here. So just navigate to the left-hand side, then come over to input. Then just scroll down until you get to the screen mirroring option over here. If you're using a Hisense Android or a Hisense Google TV, you don't have to do this. Your TV does not have to be put on screen mirroring mode. But for the Hisense Vida, make sure you come over to screen mirroring or screen sharing at the bottom over here and select that. Now, once you're in this page, you want to come over to your laptop or PC and then make sure you also connect to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network that your Hisense TV is connected to. So at the bottom of my laptop over here, I'm just going to go over to the network settings and make sure I'm also connected to Redmi 12, which is actually the name of my hotspot. And then once you're sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Hisense TV, you want to go ahead and locate the screen mirroring or screen sharing feature of your laptop. You can do this by simply just going over to the windows icon at the left hand side over here go ahead and tap on it and then head over to settings now on the settings of your laptop you basically just want to go over to the system settings at the top over here and then just go over to display now from the display settings you can scroll downwards and you can literally see the multiple displays option over here go ahead and click on connect to wireless display and automatically your laptop will start to search for available devices it can actually connect to. You can literally see the name of my Hisense TV over here. If you don't want to go through all of these, a very simple way you can actually get to the screen mirroring feature on your laptop is to simply just press on the Windows plus K shortcut and your laptop should actually come over to this page searching for available devices it can actually connect to. At this point, you just want to go ahead and select the name of your Hisense TV. Mine is a living room TV. Give both devices some few seconds and automatically your laptop or PC will be connected to your Hisense TV and this works absolutely well. By the way, if you're using the Hisense Google TV or the Hisense Android TV, just like this one over here, and you notice that your laptop is unable to find the name of your Hisense TV so that you can actually connect to it, a very simple solution for you would simply be to open up the Google Chrome browser on your laptop. So over here, I have the Google Chrome browser. I'll go ahead and open it up. Now, on your Google Chrome browser, you basically just want to click on the three dot icon at the top right corner over here click on it now you want to scroll down until you find the cast feature now you can literally see over here we have the cast save and share feature go ahead and tap on that navigate to the left hand side and then just go ahead and click on cast over here now from the top you should be able to find the name of your Hisense android or your Hisense google tv now basically what you just want to do is to go ahead and select your tv and automatically this should actually screen mirror or screencast my laptop to my Hisense Android or my Hisense Google TV. If you notice that only the Google Chrome browser tab is actually screen mirrored to your Hisense TV, what you can actually do is to just go ahead and stop the screen mirroring, come over to where we have source at the bottom over here, and then just go ahead and click on cast screen option, then select your TV again. And now this should actually screen mirror or connect your whole screen to your Hisense Android or your Hisense Google TV and this works absolutely well. Even if you close the Google Chrome browser, you can also see that it works pretty well on our Hisense TV. If you actually want to use your Hisense TV as a second display or a second screen for your laptop, what you want to do is to go over to the display settings one more time. So come over to the Windows icon over here and then to the settings of your laptop. From over here, you just want to scroll downwards until you get to the bottom. Now where we have multiple displays over here, instead of selecting the duplicate this display, you want to go ahead and select the extend this display. Keep in mind, the extend display or second screen option will only work for the first method and not for the casting using your browser. Your Hisense TV will turn into a second screen for your laptop. 
I can actually just move windows from my laptop over here into my Hisense TV and it's actually going to move into the Hisense TV. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.